Today we're going to explore how much progress can be made on a new Town Hall 13 base in 60 days. What's going on my friends? My name is Joe, welcome back to the show. And today would be episode two of the Town Hall 13 free to play series in 2024, day 53. And <laughs> what had happened was uh, real life just happened. I just kind of took some personal time, went on a trip last month to the Canadian border for some ice fishing in case you have never seen a frozen lake. Also there's been a lot of changes in the game in just like the month and a half that we've been kind of hit or miss with it. Starting with the Dark Spell Factory getting a new level at Town Hall 12 and the release of the Overgrow spell, which we did cover in the update sneak peeks, but I haven't had a chance to use it on this account just yet. They also brought back the creepy goblin builder. And I don't know what it is about that face, but um, yeah, I just want to deliver one of these right to it, you know? <laughs> and then also the gold pass. They've actually kind of done a little bit of something special for players who have never bought a gold pass. They're doing the $2.99 or the first time discount. Yes, when it comes to Town Hall 13 though, I would recommend a gold pass if you do tend to get bored very easily. It does speed up the process quite a bit. But let's just go ahead and jump into our progress base because I did do some stuff while I was away to try to keep this thing going not necessarily casually playing, but also not really grinding the game like I've done in the past. So we got the Royal Champion to level 12. Then I also did upgrade all four of the army camps to level 11. The elixir storages and the gold storages are max for Town Hall 13. And then we also did upgrade the barracks to unlock the Dragon Rider, the dark barracks to unlock the Apprentice Warden. And we also included the upgrade of the Spell Factory. Now the dark Spell Factory did get moved into place so if you are using the old progress base just drag that thing over and put it in place and we're currently upgrading it we upgraded the blacksmith to level six before they changed it to an elixir upgrade that was also something they slipped in on the last update and now we're upgrading our workshop to unlock i believe the log launcher archer queen and grand warden are being upgraded currently and one's going to level 69 the other one's going to level 45 Five, and we'll continue to focus on those two heroes. The king, I'm not really touching it right now because um, I just I just don't feel like grinding out Dark Elixir. You know, it's just a lot of work to keep all four heroes down. If you're into that, awesome. But sometimes it just becomes more work and less play. Now, we did build our scatter shots and I upgraded them both to level two. And then the Town Hall's weapon is currently going to level five. So that will be maxed out in five days. The Eagle Artillery has two days left on its upgrade to max and then from then on we'll continue to upgrade our inferno towers our expos wizard towers air defenses etc all the way to the end um, and then some of these do have two levels to include the expo the archer towers the cannons it's just a lot of work it's it's a ton of work when it comes to walls we did upgrade 40 pieces of wall that way I didn't have loot waste and people were stealing it from me and then when it comes to the laboratory this is where I've been a little slacking actually um, we did upgrade the balloon, the healer. We also upgraded the dragon, baby dragon, and electro dragon, as well as the dragon rider. That way I could possibly use the hydra, which is normally your balloons, dragons, and dragon riders. Or we're gonna probably go into the minor hog rider hybrid next. And you can see that we still need to upgrade our minor. And we currently have the hog rider down for upgrade to level 10. Also, I did upgrade the invisibility spell because we are currently grinding a lot for the dark elixir. So I'm back to using sneaky goblins for the time being. And I felt like that invisibility might help out. So that was mostly the traditional stuff that we've always upgraded when it comes to whatever town hall level you're playing. You're your buildings and your laboratory and your walls, that stuff has really not changed. But 2024 has been a very strange year in regard to an additional thing that we need to upgrade, i.e. hero equipment. And we've already seen some changes since the beginning with the addition of the giant gauntlet back in December. And then last month they released the epic equipment for the Archer Queen in the Frozen Arrow. And they also have some things that we've seen on videos, i.e 
the Clash of Clans Lunar New Year video that looked like the Grand Warden had a special ability as well that might be coming down the pipeline at some point. So it's really raising a lot of concerns regarding hero equipment because you know in the past how we always search out videos and it's like what is the best practice for something right now and we tend to try to provide you decent guidance for that and kind of steer you in a direction that's going to make your overall gameplay better. When it comes to hero equipment I really don't know you know what I mean like we just got two new pieces of equipment for the royal champion in the hog rider puppet as well as the haste vial and those are for higher town hall levels so you have to basically grind out the game make sure you do your attacks and multiplayer battles as well as multiple wars to collect the ore and then try to upgrade equipment that is going to be long lasting and not a waste of those resources does that make sense so with the royal champion i did upgrade the seeking shield to level 11 and the royal gem to level 5 because obviously we don't have anything else for the champion at this town hall level the warden's eternal tome went to level 12 and the healing tome is level 8 and then i also upgraded the giant gauntlet to level 8 because that's like super op in the pro scene right now like most of the complaints on twitter right now are either the root rider spam which i'm not complaining about but <laughs> and the giant gauntlet having too much power and taking out way too many buildings and yeah it's just it's just really hard with this game, you know? Like, when they try to do new things like this, there's always the potential to launch this game out of balance because it's been built a certain way for so long that they bring you something entirely new that's kind of untested. It's going to have repercussions, whether it's for the casual players or guys like you or the professional players who have, like, this super strategic, this is how you should play Clash of Clans, you know? It is, <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. But the point is, is that I'm really concerned about where we're placing our resources. So let me know down in the comments below, what are you focusing your efforts on upgrading when it comes to hero equipment? And we might try to build a video behind that if you come up with a really good argument for it. And for those of you who are wondering how much time is until we fully max out Town Hall 13, as of today's date, after day 53, our completion status looks like this. 68% structures, 72% laboratory, 65% on the heroes, 19% on hero equipment. That's gonna take a long time to max out. I highly doubt I will. 62.8% on the walls and our overall timeline if we keep our builders actively upgrading and our laboratory consistently upgrading troops, spells, and siege machines, we have five months, six days, and 18 hours on the structures, and seven months, 10 days, and eight hours left in the lab.